And so we have to talk toys, we have to talk tricks, treats, and of course, educational value as well. I'm here this morning with speech language pathologist and toy expert, Erica Cardamone. Thank you so much for being back with us this morning. Thanks for having me, Amanda. This is great. I'm so happy to share these toys. Lots of treats, tricks, all the above. So. Yes, we, we need all those things yes. for Halloween. So you have a really cool display out here for us this morning. And you want to start over here with this very, very cool thing that you were explaining to me a little bit before we came on. What is this? Okay, so this is the Moonlight Story Collections. So this really takes book sharing to a whole new level. So what kids are going to do is um, you take this little projector mm -hmm. and it attaches to your phone. You insert a story disc inside and it projects and this a, is this is the disc. little story disc here mm -hmm. and it goes right inside one for each book and it projects an image of the story on a wall so it's reading in the dark while somebody can read on the screen wow. so the text is on your smartphone and then it's fun because it's in the dark but it really engages kids in this multi-sensory experience when they're reading books and we know yeah. that book reading is so important for language development literacy development so it really helps lay that groundwork mm -hmm. those foundational skills for understanding language telling stories and effective communication later on so love this one yes, definitely love this especially for my one-year-old who sometimes will get on my lap to read a story and then after two pages she's like I gotta go <laughs> yeah. so this is perfect so you're still delivering that language rich <laughs> content and they are truly enamored by it it's like a it's like a movie it's like a still movie it's yeah, great very cool okay what is next all right this is ghost in the attic by mind peaceful kingdom so this is a cooperative game so everybody's working together to get the get out of the house before the ghost okay, okay. Um, so I love this because whenever kids are working together they, there's that shared decision-making element they're collaborating together they're using their uh, language skills for negotiating and listening to each other's ideas so lots of great language going on here and it's fun you play it in the dark like the game board glows in the Ooh. dark and the ghost glows up so it's an in the dark game board very spooky that is awesome. I love a spooky game. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. What do you have for us next? These are so cute. So cute. So these are the Bears in Costume by Stife. Like one of my favorite things about Halloween is when a kid dresses up and they really take on that persona, right? And it sparks that imagination. Their pretend playing role playing is just amazing. So the bears are experiencing the same thing here. Aww. So when our uh, adorable, iconic, collectible Stife bear, when he's feeling a, like he needs to be a little bit more brave, mm -hmm. he's going to flip up his his tiger hood here Gosh. and then it really all becomes part of the story as kids are telling about it so they're working on that theory of mind and um, understanding empathy great uh, social emotional yeah. learning as they're telling these stories and they're so soft I and love these cute I just yes. I'm interested in the cuteness yes. but the imagination stuff is very important yeah. to Erica <laughs> <laughs> yes all of it all of it you bet <laughs> All right, so what is next over here? All right, this is the Papaton Shadow Theater by Papaton Kids. So we're back to stories in the dark because, you know, it's Halloween. We, we love do a that. good story in the dark. Yeah. Um, so what this is, it's like a little shadow screen here, mm -hmm. and there's all sorts of different set cutouts. So you can do setting, characters, different story elements, and then your phone shines through, and it's um, they can tell that story, work on those communication skills. That's so it's really, really cool. fun. So like little things. And you yes, like, oh, and like we've got so monsters cute. and dragons all great things for your story. Oh, that is quite wonderful. Okay, great. I, I love this one right here. Yes. Right, what do you have next for us? Okay, America? this is for the boo basket. We always turn to highlights, right, <laughs> when we're looking for things. So lots yes. of fun activities, puzzles, hidden pictures, all the things that are going to look at comparing and contrasting and um, learning, vocabulary, all sorts of good things for the boo basket Perfect. on the go Halloween theme. Love it, love it. All right, next. Last but not least, the Skill Builders Human Body Set. This is from Learning Resources. Of course, we're focused on the skeletal system. Yes. But all of the systems are included here where kids can learn body functions, organs, building that vocabulary, and of course this little magic x-ray where they can slide oh, and name it. some bones stop because it. that is so isn't that cool. so you cool? Like you just slide, it right, slide it right in. Let's oh see if we can get gosh. it in there. Oh my gosh. And then, ah, uh, okay, there we go. And that it just slides so in. Cute. And then it's a new bone. Very cool, right? That is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with all of these toys. Erica, if folks want to know more about what you have out here today or just more about you in general, where do they find you? They can go to my website, which is playonwords.com. Oh my gosh. So wonderful. Spooky tricks and treats and lots of educational stuff for the kiddos. Thanks, Love it, Erica. as always. Thank you. You're a pro, Erica. <laughs> Appreciate you. And we will be right back after a short break. See you.